Hey guys, Roman here, and I just want to start off and uh, say sorry for being inactive for about two weeks. Uh, I started up school, and I'm getting a lot of work this year. I'm a junior, and I probably won't be able to post that many videos this weekend and into next week because I got assigned a huge project, a group project, and I don't want to let uh, my grade drop so early in the year. So I just want to start off and say sorry about that, but what I'm going to show you of how to do is you probably already know how to, but I just want to get a video out there is um, how to do a CC lens, and it's really easy. I already, already, yeah, I already got the clip to save the sample, and then check the maintain aspect ratio, and I'm already at the part where uh, he shoots that I want to sync, and what I'm going to use for the CC lens is you can use the elliptical ring and try to make it a perfect ring and then you can uh, zoom out with pan and crop oh sorry zoom in with pan and crop and then zoom out and you'll get the same effect but this overlay right here that I have is um you can download it it's in my 1k special uh, for my editing pack and all it is is just like a perfect circle it slowly expands and if you use as an overlay it obviously wouldn't look like a CC lens but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to compositing mode and we're gonna go to custom and you're gonna want to select the Sony height map click add and OK and then you can go ahead and pause the video here and copy my settings down and once you get this done then that's basically it if you use the overlay the um but elliptical ring that takes that takes a little bit more effort all I, I can do that right now but that's it right there and then you can control how fast you want and the reason why there's like black right here is because it's grabbing well bits and pieces of the scope the black here and also towards the end it's kind of pulling the edges of the clip and what I mean by that is if you zoom out see how there's black there you know, it's just kind of grabbing those, so if I were to do it again, it'd grab even more than normal. But, that's about it. I can, uh, I can go ahead and show you how to do the elliptical ring way really fast if you guys want to do it that way. Or if you don't want to go looking for, um, the editing pack. So, what you'd want to do is go ahead and click this, uh, generated media button and then you're going to want to mess with these numbers 1, 2, and 3 to just try and get a good circle going kind of want it skinny too and then once you get uh, your circle all you need to do is keyframe it so in the beginning you don't want to zoom or zoom out you know as much as you can so what you could do is you could uh, scroll out so we get some more space and just zoom as far out as you can make sure both of these are checked otherwise it won't work like it just did for me and then let's say you want it to end about here oh I'm sorry um then you just want to restore so it starts off small and then you zoom in on the ring which makes it expand and the reason why yeah I have the auto sync thing on I'm sorry for that guys a little rusty at making tutorials but I mean you could do the elliptical ring I don't really like it I think it's faster with the overlay and sorry if this tutorial is a little hard to follow it's really basic once you you know get the idea of how it works but um, I'm going to try and get an edit out soon, I've been working real hard on it, try and get something worthy to come back on, and I'm going to keep trying to make more videos and tutorials, sorry again if you got confused on this, you can go ahead and comment below, uh, any questions, if uh, you didn't follow anything, and thank you guys for watching, and if you could like the video that'd be great, and that's about it, alright guys, peace.